Imagine a machine that never sleeps. Its silent eye watches everything, day and night, seeing through clouds and darkness. This isn't science fiction. This is real. It was built in Israel, and it changed the world of warfare forever. Hello, and welcome to Winds of Thought. Today, we're talking about one of the most important pieces of technology developed in the last few decades. It's a drone, but not the kind you might be thinking of. This is a massive, silent guardian developed by Israel. It gave armies a permanent view from the sky, and in doing so, it rewrote the rules of military intelligence. For most of history, knowing what your enemy was doing was incredibly difficult and dangerous. You had to send soldiers on secret missions behind enemy lines, or you sent pilots in fast planes to fly over hostile territory, hoping they wouldn't be seen or shot down. It was a huge risk. Lives were on the line every single time. The information was often hours or even days old by the time it reached a commander. In a fast-moving battle, old information is useless. You need to know what is happening right now. This was the problem for many nations, including Israel, which has always needed to be aware of threats along its borders. And then, a solution appeared in the skies. It was an unmanned aerial vehicle, a drone built by Israel for one main job, to watch. And it did this job better than anyone thought was possible. So, what made this Israeli drone so special? It wasn't just one thing. It was a combination of several brilliant ideas all coming together in one machine. First, let's talk about its body. The drone is built from special, lightweight materials. These materials are not just light, they are also incredibly strong. The strength is important because it allows the drone to carry a heavy load of cameras and sensors without being too slow or clumsy. Think of it like a bird with hollow bones. It's built for long, effortless flight. And what is it carrying? This is where the magic happens. Its eyes are a collection of the most advanced sensors ever put on a drone at that time. It has powerful daylight cameras that can see a shocking amount of detail from an altitude of 30,000 feet. From that high up, it can see a single person walking on the ground. But its vision goes far beyond what our eyes can see. It has infrared cameras. These see heat, not light. So when the sun goes down and the world becomes dark, this drone's view doesn't change. It can see the heat signature of a truck engine that was turned off an hour ago. It can see people moving through a forest at midnight. Darkness means nothing to it. Then it has something even more powerful. Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR. This is its secret superpower. Normal cameras need light, but radar uses radio waves. This means the drone can see through clouds, fog, dust storms, and even light rain. The weather on the ground doesn't matter. It flies high above the bad weather, looking straight through it. But SAR does something else that is truly game-changing. It can see things that are hidden. A tank parked under a canopy of trees is invisible to a normal camera, but to the SAR, it's clear as day. The radar waves bounce off the metal of the tank, and the computer builds a detailed picture of it. It can see vehicles hidden under nets and inside buildings. It can even detect disturbances in the soil, revealing where a road has been built or a trench has been dug. It makes camouflage almost useless. This ability to see the unseen gave military commanders a tool they never had before. Perfect awareness. A border that was once easy to cross in secret became an open book. For Israel, this meant being able to watch its long and often tense borders with incredible precision. Enemy soldiers who thought they were moving under the cover of darkness were suddenly visible. It turned the entire sky into a giant transparent window. You couldn't hide from it. Now, having amazing eyes is one thing, but what good are those eyes if you could only use them for a short time? This leads to the second revolutionary feature of this drone, its incredible endurance. A human pilot in a jet plane can only stay in the air for a few hours. They get tired, the plane needs to refuel, this creates gaps. An enemy can watch the sky, wait for the plane to leave, and then make their move during the gap in coverage. This drone shattered that idea. It can stay in the air for over 30 hours straight. Think about that. 30 hours. That's longer than a full day and night. It can take off in the morning, watch a target all day, follow it through the entire night, and still be watching when the sun comes up the next morning. This changes everything for a commander. They now have a constant, unblinking eye over the battlefield. There are no more gaps. The enemy knows they are being watched every minute of every hour. 
This creates a powerful psychological pressure. They can't rest. They can't plan a surprise attack. They are always being watched. This endurance also means one drone can cover a huge amount of territory. For a country like Israel, which isn't large in area but faces complex threats, this was a game changer. A single drone could patiently patrol a vast border or a long coastline. It doesn't get bored, it doesn't get distracted, it just watches. So we have a drone with amazing eyes that can stay in the air for a very long time. But there's a third piece to the puzzle, stealth. This isn't the kind of stealth you see in movies where a plane becomes invisible. This is a simpler, quieter kind of stealth. The drone flies so high that it's just a tiny speck in the sky. From the ground, you cannot see it with your naked eye. You wouldn't even know it was there. And you wouldn't hear it either. Its engine is designed to be very quiet. From 30,000 feet, the sound doesn't even reach the ground. So people being watched have no idea they're being watched. There is no buzzing sound like a small consumer drone. There is just silence. Imagine being a soldier on the ground. You look up at an empty, quiet sky. You feel safe thinking you were hidden. But the whole time, every move you make is being recorded and sent back to a command center in Israel, hundreds of miles away. You only find out you are watched when the attack comes, perfectly planned because they knew exactly where you were and what you were doing. This brings us to the communication system. All this amazing video and data has to get to the people who need it. The drone has a powerful data link that streams everything it sees in real time straight to a command center. Inside that command center, generals and analysts sit in comfortable chairs watching live video feeds from the drone. They can see the same thing the drone sees, with no delay. They can watch a convoy of trucks moving across a desert, they can see a group of people gathering in a village, and they can talk to troops on the ground, telling them exactly where the enemy is. This blurs the line between the front line and the headquarters. A commander sitting in a room in Israel can see the battlefield more clearly than a soldier who is actually there. This allows for incredibly precise decisions. They can guide a ground unit around an ambush. They can call in an airstrike on a single building, knowing for sure that the enemy is inside. This saves the lives of friendly soldiers and can reduce accidental harm to innocent people. The impact of this Israeli drone was felt all over the world. Many countries saw what it could do and wanted it for themselves. Nations like India, Germany, and Brazil bought their own versions. And because the drone was modular, meaning you could swap out its sensors, each country could customize it for their own needs. In India, they used it to watch the high, snowy mountains of the Himalayas. It's a place too dangerous for pilots to fly for long periods of time. The drone could stay there for hours, monitoring the borders in all weather conditions. It could see through the thick smoke, something that is impossible for planes to do. Over the ocean, a special maritime version was used to watch for pirates and illegal fishing boats. It could patrol thousands of square miles of empty water, something that would require a fleet of ships and planes to do before. This drone wasn't just a weapon, it became a vital tool for national security for many countries. It gave them a level of awareness they never had before, thanks to the technology first perfected by Israel. In actual combat, the drone proved to be very tough. Enemies tried to shoot it down, they tried to jam its signals so it couldn't communicate. But the drone was built to handle this. It has autonomous systems, meaning it can fly itself. If its communication link is cut, it doesn't crash. It can continue its mission on its own, following its original orders until the link is restored. It became more than just a camera in the sky. It became a decision-making tool. It could spot a group of enemy soldiers moving into position for an ambush. It could then send a warning to the friendly troops and mark the enemy location for an attack. It had patience that no human team could match. In counterterrorism operations, it could watch a single house for days or even weeks, waiting for the right moment to strike. It completely changed how manhunts were conducted. Of course, with such great power comes big questions. The existence of a machine that can watch anyone anywhere for days on end sparked serious debates. People began to ask, is this right? What about privacy? If a government can use this to watch enemies in another country, could they also use it to watch their own citizens? Where do we draw the line? There were also moral questions about warfare. When you can see the enemy so clearly, the world expects you to be more precise. The pressure to avoid civilian casualties is immense. This is a good thing, but it also makes warfare more complex. Some critics worry that when war becomes this remote for one side, when you can watch and attack an enemy from the safety of a base thousands of miles away, it might make starting a conflict too easy. 
there are no body bags coming home, so the public doesn't feel the cost in the same way. These are difficult questions that we are still trying to answer today. This Israeli drone sits right at the center of that debate, but its story doesn't end on the battlefield. The technology developed for this drone has since been used to help people and save lives. During a massive wildfire, drones inspired by this Israeli design can fly over the flames for hours. They map the fire's movement in real time, helping firefighters know where to send their resources. They can see through the thick smoke, something that is impossible for planes to do. In search and rescue missions after an earthquake or in a vast wilderness, these drones can use their infrared cameras to find the heat signature of a missing person. They can cover a huge area much faster than people on the ground. They monitor the environment, tracking pollution and illegal logging. They help scientists study glaciers and wildlife. The same eye that was designed for war is now being used to protect and understand our